Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you guys have seen in the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be recreating this beautiful thumbnail from Sophie Yang based on a request by Ariola Jumai on one of the YouTube groups I'm on. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so that you can share this video with your friends and family and let's get right into it. These are my photo editing apps as you can see. I typically use Pixas for cutouts, but Pixas doesn't allow screen recording or, or um, screenshots in the app. So for today's video, we're going to be using a video editing app. Yes, I am just finding out recently that you can actually use InShot for picture editing. Yes, I usually see it here, but I typically just use it to edit videos and that is all. But for today's video, we're going to be using InShot to edit the pictures and do our cutouts, okay? So, picking the first image, you're going to scroll through the tools on the bottom panel and so you see the cutout icon, it's the one that looks like a person. Click on it and it immediately starts working, which is amazing because Pixar, you have to click on the type of cutout, which I feel, okay, that has its cons as well. But anyways, I'm amazed at the precision this has because, hmm, if I should show you some things that Pixar does for me, you'll be shocked. But yeah, this is actually really precise so now in this space i'm actually just this is my first time so i'm actually as shocked as you guys are you can see different ways to outline so if you want the neon that is closed you pick this last one if you want the neon that is close to it um if you want the neon that is like a little bit out of it you see that one if you want like a shadow type thing you see that one this is amazing i am just oh my gosh this is something i'm going to be using a lot from now on um different types of cutouts and this one that's like you did an outline and then this is the one we're going to be using this you can typically also do on pixart i wish i could show you guys how to do it but pixart doesn't allow screen recording but yeah for pixart when you're done doing the cutouts it's basically if, um you do the cutouts when you're done doing the cutouts you can add a border and it gives you the same effect so typically on Pixar, I use 10 because I don't want it to be too much uh, where it's distracting. So I feel like 10 is perfect. So we're going to click on the good mark and we're going to save this to our phone. Okay, so now for the second image, there's a little bit of more detail. So it's not as precise as the other one. So I feel like maybe because um, the other picture wasn't having much detail, that's why it came out so clean. Anyways, I'm going to click on the icon that looks like an eraser. And you're going to reduce your brush size to as small as possible and click on the brush go in and paint the picture back in for obviously i'm using picture because mine is a picture but whatever is missing from your picture go in and paint it back in it doesn't have to be too neat or too um accurate because if you're going to add an outline to it anyways so yeah I also noticed that my hand was missing so I'm going back over that area carefully and yeah now you can see that it looks good and we can save that okay so I'm switching things up I really don't like how the other idea is coming along so I'm going to be changing it and I'm going to do an edit for Sophie. So let's assume she's doing a thumbnail for happiness or something. So yeah, I'm going to be using some of Sophie's pictures. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the cutouts and I'll come back when I'm done with that.
all right now that we're done everything is perfect we have everything we need we're going to go right into the actual editing of the thumbnail now usually i would use pixels for everything but insha doesn't have an option for picture in picture um for photo editing so i'm moving to canva for the second part of this video you can do this with pixels if you have pixels just use the add photo option to import your cutouts so yeah opening canva we're going to choose the youtube thumbnail i was going to create the blank now we're going to either import a background maybe you went online and you got a background that you want to use or you can just change the color of the one that they put there the white you can change it to any color you want and um, use it plain as it is click on the plus sign at the bottom left click on gallery and import your first image you can do all of them at once but personally i'd like to go in one by one so that it's easy for me to see them and everything is not clustered on my page as you add them you can keep adjusting them to your preference as you see me doing feel free to move things around and like test your arrangement nothing is perfect it's based on your preference so go ahead and play with it Okay, so time to add the text. You can either pick a style from the ones Canva has or you can just pick a heading and type out the text you want. For me, I'll be doing how I stay happy and focused. Looking at the picture, the black is too dark for the font. So we're going to be changing that and using one of the photo colors for now. I went ahead to change my background to something darker as well because I felt like the other one was too light. I picked the color from the photo colors available. Next we're going to go in to the font and I'm going to look for something bubbly because I feel like um, that's going to look fine and also it was a bubbly font that Sophie used in her own thumbnail. Now that we've written out our title and it looks good, we're going to be adding an effect style and you just keep adjusting it, keep testing the different ones until it looks good. This is based on your personal preference, you're not going to be copying anybody. Um, what somebody does is not always the best for your channel, depending on your type of content and if you want it to be fun or serious, you know, pick what you like, play around, you know, that, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what thing I always do is also zoom out to see how I like it when it's in a smaller size. You know that the thumbnail shows differently on different phones and different um, devices. It looks different on a laptop from a tab and to a phone. I um, you know we have big phones and small phones nowadays. So yeah, make sure your fonts are readable in any size. 
now i'm not really feeling this text um font so i'm going to just keep on playing with it until i love it and yeah so So yeah, I think this looks great. Yeah, this looks good. So then you just click on the download button and it has downloaded and you can use it. So there you have it. That is how to create a cut out thumbnail. Hope you guys were able to learn anything let me know in the comment section if you have any questions any other types of videos you'd want me to do thumbnails that you see you like it you want to recreate it but you don't know how to go about it you can let me know DM me on my instagram or on whatsapp if you're on the whatsapp group that i'm on and with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video bye so for this part i just said at this part because i know that the original image this is what they did in the this is what she did and this is a thumbnail that i used to do back in the day i will add some pictures maybe um so yeah for placing a pop out cut out on the original image you're just going to import the original image into your um let's say you want to change you just replace the background that Canva gave you and change it to the image and then you're going to add in the cutout and zoom in and adjust it until it is perfectly on top the other one perfectly covering it and in the right spot and there you have it you have your um yourself or your image or whatever focal point that you want in the picture popping up from the actual background so yeah